guys. Today I'm going to show you how to clear up your machine of viruses, malware, and adware. I'm going to be using the Kapersky Rescue Boot Utility. It's a great product for an offline virus scan. So what I'm going to show you how to do if you have any malware, if your machine is slow, or if your internet's not working, or if your files are hidden, these are all kind of symptoms of a virus. If you're getting pop-ups, that's a symptom of malware or spyware recording your information. So you really want to make sure your virus definitions and your virus scans are being kept current. So this is a great utility if you're having a lot of problems working in your Windows environment, if it's really sluggish, if you get too many pop-ups you can't do anything, if your internet's not working. Like these are some of the symptoms that this is the great utility that you would want to use. If you can boot into your Windows environment, then you can do a scan within Windows, either with maybe Symantec or uh, McAfee. Just make sure your virus definitions are up to date. If they're not, because sometimes they require a monthly subscription, then there are free options. AVG is a free option, Microsoft Security Essentials. So at the end of the video, I'll go over that. So first, I'm going to go over the Kapersky Rescue Boots and show you how easy it is to do an offline scan. This is a really full scan of your system. It's probably the best scan if you're truly, really infected and it's just your machine is just so sluggish. This is the best scan for that. If you can get into your environment, I'll show you at the end some of the free options you guys have. So just keep watching and I'll show you guys how easy it is. The first thing you need to do is go to Kapersky.com. We're going to go ahead and click on the support link on the top green bar. Scroll down, click on virus removal, and right there you'll see Kapersky Rescue 10.0. We're going to download that. An ISO will be provided. An ISO is a copy of a CD. So the easiest way to boot your machine off this ISO is to transfer it to a USB device. So we're going to go ahead and go to the link provided. And right there you're going to see an option to download Rescue Disk Maker. I'm going to go ahead and save that. It's a small executable file. Now once both items are completely downloaded, you want to go ahead and run the Rescue 2 USB executable. Now run that. It's going to be a small installation. Once that's done, you're going to be able to transfer the ISO image onto that USB device. This will allow you to boot your machine off that USB device. So we're going to select our ISO, we're going to select our USB device and go ahead and click start. It should just take a few minutes to do the recording. And once that's done, you can go ahead and shut down this machine if this is the machine to be scanned. Or you can just remove the USB device properly and put it into the machine that you would like to scan. You're going to go ahead and plug that into your machine. In any USB port on your machine, you should notice some power going on, indicating the USB device is now powered on. We're going to boot into that device, and this is the first menu you're going to see. You can go ahead and select the language of choice. There's a few here. I selected English. I'm going to agree to the licensing by pressing 1, I believe. Now, once you do that, we're going to click that first option, Kaspersky Rescue Disk Graphic Mode. You could do it on the command line, but this is much easier for beginners. It should just take a few minutes for this to boot up. This essentially is a Linux distribution, I believe it's Ubuntu, with built-in virus and malware scan utilities to remove any issues on your Windows machine. Now once this is done, it's going to go ahead and mount your disk. That is your local hard drive. Now I'm going to go ahead and run the Proskursky Rescue Disk. The icon is right there on the left-hand side. We're going to check our first, our definitions. The reason this is important is because we want to make sure we have the most current information of viruses and malware out there on the internet. If you don't have the latest definitions on your antivirus or your malware scan, and this goes for any piece of software, then you are not really protected from the latest virus and malware. So we're going to go ahead and run that, and then we're going to start a scan. You're going to make sure you click on your C drive, your registry, your Windows hidden file and go ahead and click start. It's going to scan your entire machine. Once it's done, it will list all the viruses and malware and adware found. This machine particularly does not have any, but if your machine does have, this is where it'll be listed and it would automatically have been removed. Now once that's done, you can go ahead and take a look at the listing of the reports and you're all done for your scan. You go ahead and reboot your machine and check if your malware and spyware and viruses have been removed, if any issues that exist before are now gone.
there exist a few free options for antiviruses that you could run within your Windows operating system. That means if you're logged in, you're using your Windows environment, and you want to make sure you have a current free version of antivirus. Kapersky Virus Removal Tool is here. That's one of them. But there's also AVG and Microsoft Security Essentials. These are all great options for free uh, antivirus to keep on your machine that runs active as you're using your machine. The links are below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye, and subscribe to get updates.